Mind blown. Paradoxes. Paradoxes are fascinating and make us really think. Here are a few for your noggin. The liar's paradox. The statement, this statement is a lie, is a classic paradox. If the statement is indeed a lie, then it would be saying the truth. If the statement is the truth, however, then it would counter the premise that the statement is a lie. Try to resolve that. The paradox of the infinite. Galileo introduced one of the most famous mathematical paradoxes as follows. Suppose there are two sets of numbers. One set contains all square numbers, such as 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on until infinity. The other set contains numbers that are not squares, such as 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on until infinity. It stands to reason that the total number of squares will surely be less than the number of squares and not the squares combined. However, each positive number has a square. Therefore, the number of squares cannot be less than the combined set of all numbers. Ouch, that just hurt my brain. Probability Paradox Suppose there are two families, the Ritter family and the Daly family. The Ritters have two kids, the older of which we know to be a girl. What's the probability that the younger child is a girl as well? It should be obvious that the answer is one half, because the younger child could just either be a boy or a girl. Furthermore, the odds of giving birth to a boy and a girl are essentially equal. The Dailies, on the other hand, also have two kids. At least one of them is a boy. What is the probability that both children are boys? The Dailies' children being both boys, MM, just the older child being a boy, MF, and just the younger child being a boy, FM. The odds of those combinations are equal, making it one-third. <laughs> Figure that one out if you can. Mathematical Paradox Suppose that a farmer has a 100-pound sack of grapes. He discovers that these grapes are 99% water and 1% solids. The farmer then leaves the grapes outside to dry under the heat of the sun. The next day, the grapes dried to just about 98% water, but to the farmer's shock, the grapes only had a weight of 50 pounds. How did this happen with just a 1% drop in water content? Given that the 100 pounds of grapes are 99% water, then the weight of the water must be 99 pounds. Also, the weight of the solids must be 1 pound because it makes up just 1% of the 100 pounds. This makes the water-solid ratio 1 to 99. Once the grapes have dried to just 98% water, however, the solid compounds now make up 2% of the grape's weight. This now gives a new ratio of 2 to 98, or 1 to 49. The solids retain their original weight of 1 pound, so given the new ratio, the water must now have a weight of just 49 pounds. This makes the new total weight of grapes just 50 pounds. This doesn't seem possible or right, but mathematics don't lie. The Monty Hall Paradox Remember the game show Let's Make a Deal, where contestants would select a door and get what was behind it? So suppose you're in this game show, and you have to choose among three different doors. There is a brand new car behind one door, and goats behind the other two doors. You pick door number one. The host, who knows where the goats are and where the car is, opens door number three to reveal the goat. He then offers you a choice to switch to door number two. If you want to win the car, should you make the switch to door number two? When you make your initial decision of door number one, the chances of you winning your dream car would be one-third. This means there will be a two-thirds chance that the car is behind some other door. That would be either door number two or door number three. Since you know that door number three contains a goat, the odds remain the same. There is a two-thirds chance that door number two contains the car. If you don't switch, you still retain your one-third chance of winning the car. If you switch to door number two, your odds are now two-thirds of winning the car. How can this be? This is due to the statistical illusion that the odds are now 50-50 for doors number one and two after removing door number three. However, conditional probability has proven this not to be the case. Vegas anybody? Mind blown. If you enjoyed this mind trip, 
I invite you to subscribe to this channel for more trippiness. It's free, you know.